I am um, trying every day, every show to give you guys something to do, something that helps to pass the time, something that helps to reduce the anxiety, something to do with your kiddos or something to do just for yourself. So um, today our, you know, just one thing, just one thing to do tip is to grow something. Gro oh, I'm hearing myself back, Traven. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea why that's happening. But if we can stop it, it will help me a lot. <laughs> can you guys hear the echo? No. I'm going to at least turn it down. Uh, if not, turn it off. In any case, uh, I have no idea why it's doing that, Traven. Is it on my end? I'll bet I know why. I'll bet I know why. Hold on, you guys. <sighs> Technology. You know, I know somebody had written in the other day and said that they could hear me sighing. There we go. I found it. It was on my side. It wasn't Traven. It was on my side. Uh, but somebody said they could hear me sighing. And I want you to know that the sigh is always about the technology. <laughs> the technology. But anyway, our tip for this morning is to grow something. Now, if you have uh, a backyard, front yard, whatever, uh, or a flower pot, and you have access to seeds because you already have them, or you can order them for from a place like Amazon, uh, what a great thing to do is to order some seeds and grow something. You know, our our grandparents and great grandparents is, parents had something called a victory garden, where they would put in a small plot of vegetables and grow vegetables. But you can also grow flowers. Now, if you don't have access to seeds and you don't, you live in an apartment, you don't have access, you don't have a pot, you don't have soil, and you don't want to go to the store right now to get them. I want you to know that there are other ways and other things that you can grow. If you've had the opportunity to have any kind of a fresh vegetable at all, most fresh, fresh vegetables, um, rather than throwing away uh, the vegetable, you can take whatever part was growing, stick it in just a little bit of water. Can you see here that um, we, we had some romaine lettuce and I took the very end of it and I sliced off the end. The end looks like that, but I sliced off that brown part um, that it came with so that it was fresh and white, stuck it in water. And I've got two heads of romaine lettuce growing here and one of iceberg lettuce. And it's, you know, when I put it in there, there was just basically nothing to it, but they're growing. And every day I get to look at it and it's super fun. We also have this with potatoes. You know how you go to use one of your potatoes and it's got the little shoot coming off of it and you want to cut that off. Well, when you do cut that off, cut a little bit more off, stick that in a little bit of water and you will have potato plants. You know, the Martian uh, with Matt Damon, grow potatoes, be like the Martian. Now, I've got one more thing here uh, in my mason jar. My, do you like my props? I'm growing some broccoli sprouts. If you have any, um, or you can, if you have the opportunity to order these, these are great because I'll show you in a couple of more days, this will be filled with really healthy uh, broccoli sprouts. They're super cheap to grow. You just have to soak them for eight hours and then you rinse them every day. Now I have a little screen here, but you could put a piece of fabric in a mason jar or in a regular cup and just strain them every day. You have to rinse them every day and then let the water drain out. But this will be filled with uh, something really help, healthy for you to eat. As we have a little bit harder time getting fresh groceries, that might be a super project for you, for your kids. And then you just sprinkle them on whatever you're eating. Um, and they're, they're healthy, they're tasty, they're crunchy and uh, super fabulous for you. And you can grow it right on your counter. But what's fun is that your kiddos can look at it every day and it gets a little bit higher. It kind of gets exciting. And for me, it helps to measure the passage of time and to show that things are growing, things are moving. It's a very mentally healthy thing for me, the garden. So do what you can, grow what you can, have an experiment. Take the top, if you've got a pineapple, take the top of that. Have your kids say, what could we possibly grow and have experiments. If you can get a hold of some bean seeds, this, that's what most uh, grade schools would have been doing right now with little kids is growing bean seeds. You can grow them in a Dixie cup with a little paper towel dipped in water. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.